Yes, good morning. Uh, we're going to wait probably another two, three more minutes for other attendees to arrive. Thank you. Give it like two, three minutes. Good morning, everyone. We'll begin in about one minute. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Victor Liu, president of Link High Technologies, and uh, we're going to go over a topic that a lot of clients have asked me for. It's on-premise versus hosted phone systems. Which is better? All right, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time about Link High. If you have any questions, you can contact me afterwards. Um, but Link High, we're a managed security IT provider, and um, we focus on outsource IT, cybersecurity. We certainly do VoIP phones, both on premise and hosted, and uh, cloud computing and IT projects. So this is the agenda for today. We're going over the types of VoIP, and there's two major types, hosted phone systems and on-premise phone systems, the features of each, the reliability and quality, cost comparisons, next steps, and questions. So what is a hosted phone system? Um, well, usually the provider houses the phone, IP phone system, which means there's no phone system or hardware in your offices. Uh, the provider handles all the technology required to provide the services to the phone system. 
and usually they charge a monthly fee that includes a certain amount of features and calls. And you'll there's a term that's going around. It's called unified communication solution, which really means it combines phone, fax, chat, and video capabilities. And um, hosted phone systems and unified communications have come almost synonymous. Um, so um, providers kind of use those terms interchangeably. So some of the standard features of a hosted VoIP system is the Auto 10, which everyone's familiar with. It's really the automated greetings with menus. And usually there's quite a few options. You can make the menus as deep as you want. Um, the second one is the mobile phone app. I'll go into more detail in the future, but that's really uh, the ability to send and receive calls with a mobile device. And then the third one, voicemail to email. It's to access your voicemail messages from email. And I actually exclusively access my voicemail from email. Um, I never dial into the phone to check my emails. It's all by um, through email. It's great. So the email function is great. So what I can do is I can listen to a message and I could forward it to the appropriate staff member. So it's, if it's something that I don't need to do personally, I can delegate it by sending it to someone else in the office. Also, it's a great archive. So these messages are recorded as WAV files. And I just store it in my Outlook under different folders, by topic, by client. Um, it's a great feature. Another feature that I didn't put here but is voicemail to text. So a lot of times I might be in the meeting, conference call, uh, on the train, and, you know, it's not an appropriate situation to play the WAV file um, to hear the voicemail. So the voicemail to text feature is great. So I'll see um, the, the translation. And it's not perfect, but it's usually enough that I can tell if it's an important message I need to forward to someone very quickly or if I need to really just call that person back. Um, and number four is unlimited calling. Usually in a hosted VoIP, there's no permanent charges. Usually it's unlimited, uh, especially for the United States, Puerto Rico, and Alaska, um, or a very high bundle of minutes. What is an on-premise phone system? So it's um, it's a phone system where, where the appliance or all the hardware resides at the customer location. The calls can usually go through traditional phone lines, such as uh, as well as internet or SIP trunks. And I'll go into detail uh, about the difference. The customer usually owns the equipment and re is responsible for maintenance. So here's a picture of what an on-premise phone system is. Um, so on the left is all the phones that you have in your office, um, the appliance, which is really just the box, and a SIP trunk. So a SIP trunk is really, um, like a phone line that uses the internet protocol. And it can go out to remote phones. If you have remote employees, it can go out to local and long distance calls. Um, there's great flexibility in the on-premise phone system. Some of the standard features of an on-premise system is again, auto 10. I think everyone's used to talking or dialing into an auto 10. Overhead paging. So overhead paging is available for hosted VoIP, but it's not as easy to implement. It requires some adi uh, additional hardware. Um, so if you really need overhead paging in a warehouse distribution um, scenario, you might want to really think hard about on-premise. Door relay. So that just means, I, I think everyone's very uh, accustomed to like apartment building. You, uh, to get entry, you dial the tenant's number. So a door relay is the same. You have a button on the outside or a phone outside the building or lobby. You dial a certain extension. The person picks up. They can hit a number that just triggers the door to open. Um, has the voicemail and the email that I went over. Has remote IP phone support, which just means the ability to have remote workers um, use a phone from home or any other location. It's not as easy as a hosted VoIP. Um, hosted VoIP phones are usually just plug and play. You have an internet connection, you plug it in, and it just works. Um, 
with an on-premise system, usually there's some configuration, um, firewall and whatnot. Um, so not as plug and play, but certainly uh, easy to do. Hosted versus on-premise, um, flexibility and scalability. So the hosted phone system offers more flexibility in terms of scaling up or down capacity and adding features. It's really um, adding more features is really just selecting the features through some sort of online portal and just uh, getting billed for it the next month. Adding features or capacity to uh, on-premise system usually means buying additional hardware, software, and configuration. Um, also, moving. So if you're an organization that moves quite frequently, a hosted phone system is extremely easy to move since um, there is no hardware besides the phone. Um, an on-premise solution, you really need to uh, migrate your phone lines, whatever um, you know, solution you selected, and then reconfigure the hardware for your new location. And then remote phones and mobile phone access is usually easier to configure in a hosted phone system environment. So I would say in terms of flexibility and scalability, the advantage goes to a hosted solution. Uh, more on the remote and mobile phone access. So I've gone over the first two, but number three and four has become increasingly more important. So there's mobile workforce benefits. Um, so there's usually an app that you put on an Apple phone, an Android phone, and it gives you the ability to transfer, receive uh, calls without giving out a personal cell phone, which is very important in terms of you know having a, a seamless experience for your customers. So for instance, like if someone calls uh, the office and they hit operated, they'll get Nancy. Nancy will forward the call to one of our system engineers who's remote, and the call just goes to their um, cell phone so they can pick up the call. Um, seamless integration with remote workers. We actually have one of our remote engineers. If you're a client of us, ours, you probably talked to Dale. Dale resides in Queens. Um, he uses our, um, our remote phone. So when you dial his extension 115, it automatically goes to Dale. Uh, it's very seamless. So um, it's, you know, people can't tell if he's in the office or not. Voice quality and reliability. So this is probably the number one question I get whenever, one, whenever someone's considering a hosted voice is the voice quality. Um, so the internet connection, the quality and bandwidth of the internet connection really determines voice quality. You really need a high quality internet connection with enough bandwidth to accommodate current and future users. And there's a formula that we can help you with. Um, highly recommend two internet connections for maximum uptime. Here at Link High, our headquarters in Morris Plains, we have two internet connections. We have a Fios internet connection and then an Optum um, internet connection as well. They're configured so if the Fios goes down, it automatically switches to our optimum. Um, when the files comes up, it automatically reverts back. So there's a high likelihood that we would stay up unless we lost power to the building. Um, On-premise phone systems have a little more flexibility. So an on-premise phone system can use a variety of um, voice connections. They can use POTS. And POTS just stands for plain old telephone line uh, service. PRI, which is really a voice T1. So those are the highest quality, the most expensive connections. And then you can use internet and SIP trunks for uh, cost savings. And uh, the great thing is we have some clients, if voice quality is, is the utmost important, if you're a law firm, financial advisor, that you're on the phone all the time, um, you can have a combination of POTS lines that's client-facing. So if anyone calls you or you call out to a client, it could use a POTS line, a plain own telephone line. But if you're calling a remote worker or another of your offices, you can use the internet or a SIP trunk. So that gives you the best of both worlds, high quality versus low cost. So we have a client in North Carolina that uses 
POTS lines for everything that's customer facing. They have numerous remote offices throughout the country and they use um, the internet to connect. So the quality may not be as high all the time, but it's certainly more than enough to talk to your own coworkers with a great amount of savings. So in terms of advantages, I think it's a tie. Uh, cost cons considerations. So an on-premise solution, the startup costs are always higher because there's initial hardware, the software, and setup. Long term, it may be less expensive, and we'll go for long term costs in later slides. Um, but to keep in mind, it's very much like leasing a car versus buying a car. There's always going to be a replacement cost once the hardware becomes end of life. And hardware for on the phone system side, I would say five to seven years is about the maximum. Um, a hosted phone system uses OpEx cost model. All that means is the monthly expense instead of a you know, one-time purchase that you can depreciate over a number of years. It's usually um, very pre predictable. If you don't change the features, it's the same flat rate every single month. It's usually a per-user cost. So your cost, um, it's very easy to scale up for minimal cost. Um, so if you have 10 users now and you add 11 users next month, it's really one more user. Let's say it's $30 a month. With hardware, what you usually try to do is buy enough capacity for today and for tomorrow. So you might have a larger box, initial higher hardware outlays, um, just to have that capacity built in. Upgrades and maintenance are built into the monthly costs. There's nothing that you need to do. All software is pushed out by the provider automatically. Um, and the hosted phone systems usually rely exclusively on internet connections, which are less expensive than POTS lines or PRI lines. Um, so there's a cost savings there. And the quality is very, very close now to POTS. And here's a cost comparison of 20 users over one year. And I picked Nextiva for a hosted solution. That's what Linkai does. Good solution, but there's other good solutions as well. Allworks, on-premise solution. We've been um, selling and configuring the Allworks system probably for about 12 years now. And so on the left, um, 20 users monthly, $500. I just use standard pricing, uh, their standard package. The phone rental is $80 a month. The mobile apps for Apple or Android are included, so there's no additional cost. Remote installation by vendor. So if you order an Nextiva hosted solution, um, they have a self-install um, option, so there's no cost. They send you everything pre-configured. The training is remote. Configuration they can walk you through. Usually you'll need our help to do a little network configuration. Um, we also offer an option, so I think I think 90% of our Nextiva clients have asked us to do a white glove install, which we'll do everything. We'll sit down with you, we'll you know plan out the users, the extensions, the voicemails, the auto attends, and we do that for a flat fee. So year one for 20 users is about $7,000. The AllWorks on-premise solution, which includes the Connect. So the Connect is really the PBX or the box. Uh, 20 AllWorks phones, 20 mobile apps for Apple or Android, and I put a four-year hardware software extension, so that means you get five years of hardware software warranty. There's a one-time installation cost, and I just put in the average. It, it depends on your specific circumstance. And then SIP trunks. So SIP trunks are really equivalent to phone lines. I found out I found through, you know, experience that eight SIP trunks is enough for about 20 users um, because usually you don't have 20 users talking at once. Eight is enough. You can go down or you can go up. Certain industries, law firms, call centers may need more one-to-one, -one, so you would probably need more SIP trunks. Other industries that are more, nowadays, they're, you know, everything's email-based, you may need less SIP trunks. Um, the first year costs 
cost is $14,730. And here's the comparison. This is where the difference shows over five years is uh, the Nixtiva hosted system. Nothing's really changing. I'm assuming it's the same 20 users is about $34,800 over a five year period. The all work solution over five years is $26,250. And that includes everything. That includes the SIP trunks, which is really the phone line. So um, I think that's a very fair comparison. So over a five year period, um, you're saving money with an all works on premise solution. But there, there are some differences. So Nextiva added additional features during the five year period. Um, if they had updated software, you would get that free of charge. You know, if there's some hardware um, improvements to the phones, the all works phones, well, um, you would have to replace those phones. So there's a, a very big difference over a five year period. And then um, some questions, and we'll open up. I will want to hear people's questions as well. But some some questions you want to ask. Number one is probably, are most of your employees in a one location, multiple office location, or mostly remote from home, cafe, we work? Um, number two, are you willing to either maintain the system yourself or pay a service provider for maintenance? Three, would you like to have the latest features immediately? So um, a hosted phone system, you'll just get the features whenever they roll out uh, automatically. Uh, they'll probably send you a little notification, update the back end um, transparently. If there's new features that you have to install on your computer or your phone, they'll give you a little notice to up, uh, update the software. You know, in a hardware solution, you would have to purchase new hardware or an upgrade to the hardware. Um, and then do you mind perpetual payments? Very equivalent to buying versus leasing a car. You know, uh, leasing the system, you get the latest and greatest. Um, you're always up to date. Now, if you're buying, you know, um, the cost over a long period of time is probably less expensive, but your, your solution or feature set rarely changes. And then number five, this is the question I usually ask when I talk to people. Um, you know, are they a good candidate for hosted? And the number one um, reason why I would say, you know, you're not a good candidate for hosted is really the quality and speed of the Internet and the number of uh, users in one location. So, for example, I've gotten calls from people in Sussex County, you know, eastern and western Pennsylvania where the Internet is um, very slow and unreliable. Well, I would definitely steer you away from hosted. You just won't be happy with the experience or quality, and there's not much we can do with it. Um, you know, so that's – and then the number of users. So if you have a large amount of users in one location, let's say, you know, 50 and above, you'll need a dedicated Internet connection because, you know, uh, under 50, you could certainly share the same Internet connection um, and not notice any quality issues voice-wise or network-wise, as you get larger 50, 100, 150 users, you needed a dedicated internet connection or multiple internet connections. Um, so that's certainly a consideration. And then um, uh, questions and answers, we'll just open. Anybody would like to check uh, while we're unmuting people, or you can uh, type a question in um, or wave your hand. The green hall. Sorry, look. So, does anybody would like to chime in with a question? Now's the chance do so. And if not, this is Victor's uh, contact information. You can contact him directly if you have any uh, further questions about uh, hosted or on-premise voice phones. So, 
Are there any chat questions? Okay, so we'll end the webinar now. A recording will be available, and if you'd like to slide um, or to continue the conversation, please reach out to us. Great. Well, thank you, everyone.